Okay, here we go, people. This is Shaziz here. I'm out here in my mad science laboratory. What you're looking at is my vacuum spark gap that I made. Anyway, uh, building a Tesla coil is really easy. It just depends on how high tech, how much money you want to spend, or whatever. This is my own personal design right here. I use this to... Uh, make my uh, spark gap so that I could uh, trap the plasma up inside this uh, vacuum tube right here. This vacuum tube came out of a uh, old TV and uh, I'll get into some more of that later. This is my crude version of a Tesla coil. It's a uh, basically I modified it to my own liking. This would have normally been the primary coil right down here. I made this my secondary. I'll explain that bit later. Anyway, this here shaft that you see that's all wound all the way up is my secondary coil, which normally would have been the secondary coil, but is now my primary coil. And then when we get all the way up to the, uh, they call it toroid, which is the top of the Tesla coil. See if I can get there. Uh, am I there? <laughs> I think so. Maybe. <coughs> I made this toroid out of a uh, out of a uh, heater dryer vent. If you look over here on this other one, it's kind of wound differently. Look, this particular one over here in the background is made out of a cheaper version of aluminum dryer vent. Anyway, there's really not a whole lot to a Tesla coil. It's basically like a fancy antenna for transmitting and receiving electricity. And uh, the coffee can that you see up there is what I use to uh, basically make my contact between the coil wire and the uh, toroid. So um, I'll also explain all that later too. But either way, you have two separate styles. I'll test the coil here on my bench. Uh, this one over here, if I'm looking at the right one. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Can't get my doggone camera where I need it. Let me tilt the bed. Don't want to touch that because that'll shock the living crud out of you. Eh, they, either way, there it is in the background. This one I wound with copper wire. And this one over here. In the wrong direction again. Can't see because that light bulb's in the way. This one I lined with steel wire, and instead of using a toroid, I used a mercury vapor bulb for the uh, top load. Anyway, also on the uh, one over here that you can't really see very well is a mercury vapor bulb that I used on top of my toroid. I'll explain all that later too. Okay, let's get into it. Let's make a uh, Tesla coil piece. Okay, first before we meet the man who was responsible uh, for designing the Tesla coil, which was Nikola Tesla, uh, I want to put out this warning for you. The uh, charging systems or uh, power supplies that you use for these are going to be high voltage. The particular one I use is a uh, Beckett uh, oil burner uh, igniter and it's uh, 20 kilovolts with uh, 30 milliamps. It's not very high on the amperage but uh, believe me when I say if you get hit by one you're, you're going to know it in, in a bad way. So always be careful when messing around with electricity because I don't want to lose any of my friends out there and so on and uh, here we go let's meet the man Nikola Tesla here he is Nikola Tesla born on July 10th 1856 
Okay, I'm not going to go into his entire biography. If uh, you want, you can look up Nikola Tesla. It's N-I-K-O-L-A, Tesla, T-E-S-L-A, and there's tons and tons of information about him. Uh, he was responsible for the uh, current version of AC uh, electricity that we use in all of our sockets and so on today. This is a picture of one of many patents that Tesla held. And uh, essentially, this is the transmitting tower or the Tesla coil. Nikola Tesla was constantly designing all kinds of things to do with electricity. He was funded on his program with the uh, transmitting tower by J.P. Morgan. And when J.P. Morgan realized that he couldn't make no money and put a meter on it like the meter on the side of your house, well, he pulled the funding, and thus forth, the uh, tower was never really finished. But uh, the, one of the pictures that you just saw is the uh, original tower. This is a uh, real simple schematic of the basic circuit for uh, igniting a Tesla coil. You have your AC input. Of course, on mine, I'm using a uh, DC because I'm using a 12-volt uh, uh, oil burner igniter and uh, you have your uh, high voltage transformer which would be the 12 volt oil burner igniter that I'm using. You have a high voltage capacitor, you have a spark gap, uh, you have your primary coil windings and then you have your secondary coil windings which uh, goes to the ground and all the way up to your toroid. This is just another diagram inside this diagram. The reason I showed it is because it has a uh, glass filled a capacitor because some people make capacitors uh, laden jar capacitors what they call them uh, figured this one might this diagram might help you out so I put that in there too here's a uh, another series of photos uh, with uh, if you look at the bottom of this first photo it has a series of uh, capacitors and then it shows all the different phases of what's going on as you ignite the Tesla coil First, what you're going to need is to build you a pancake coil. And a lot of people do this out of uh, copper tubing, and uh, there's a couple of different styles of ways that people make, uh, whether pancake coil or a cone-shaped coil or just a, a wrap-around style. PVC plumbing to build your tower is the cheapest way to go. You can get this in all sizes and shapes just depending on how tall you want your tower to be and how many windings you actually want on it. You'll need some copper wire. Sometimes you can recycle this out of old TVs off the uh, tube on the horizontal and the vertical coils. Or you can use steel wire, aluminum wire. There's a wide variety of different types of wires you can use. Just simply wind your wire around your PVC tube and uh, there's information out there that will tell you per inch uh, how much voltage you should get out of your Tesla coil. The next pictures are uh, top load toroids and depending on how fancy you want to get uh, I went the simple route and got some uh, heavy duty aluminum uh, heater duct to make my top end toroid. This next photo is not one that I built it's a finished product of somebody else's but uh, essentially you see how it's all put together and you have to keep in mind that whenever you put your uh, pancake coil at the bottom your pancake coil never actually comes in contact with the uh, secondary uh, coil which is the tower and uh, you have one end of the tower that plugs into the ground and then it goes up to through the coil of wire all the way up into your toroid right here is a uh, high voltage uh, capacitor you can get these out of like old ACs or several different old appliances you can get them out or you can buy them brand new uh, you gotta be real careful when you're messing around with these because when they store a charge unless they're discharged they'll hold that charge for quite some time and they will lay you out this next photo shows a spark gap and there's several different styles of spark gaps you use. I per, prefer a uh, vacuum spark gap but essentially what a spark gap does is allows time for the capacitor to be charged up by your ignition coil that uh, 
whenever the capacitor gets to full capacity, it will discharge across to the other side, uh, igniting your primary coil. These next photos are pictures of what an oil burner igniter looks like. This would be the initial power source to uh, charge up your capacitor, which then uh, jumps across the spark gap, which then fires your primary coil and pulses the Tesla coil. In this next photo is which I do not recommend because some people are into it for the uh, cool effects of the uh, lightning spraying out of the top of the Tesla coil. I'm into it for the alternative energy side of it. But this is a neon sign transformer. Uh, they got some pretty high voltage and uh, a lot of people use these because as their power supply because they like the uh, real cool effect that uh, you have all the lightning blasting up through the air. Personally, I'm not concerned about all the lightning blasting up through the air. I don't want sparks flying all over my mad science laboratory. Uh, some people think it's pretty cool, but it can be very, very dangerous, even deadly. So my advice is uh, if you're going to start off, start off doing it on a mini scale like I do. Um, I, I'm running everything off of 12 volt and I'm doing all my measurements on a mini scale so that I can actually get the uh, effect that I want. I'm actually uh, using my primary as my secondary and my s secondary as my primary because the only intentions I have with mine is to be able to transmit electricity through the air wirelessly and store it into something that, like a capacitor in order for it to be reused. Well, there it is, people. That's all the basics of uh, how to build a Tesla coil. It's uh, really simple when you get down to it, but I uh, want to stress again the uh, safety factor. Anytime you're messing around with them oil burner igniters, even though you're only starting off with 12 volts, you're putting out 20 kilovolts, and that's a really heavy-duty charge, and it will lay you out. And you got to be really careful around this stuff, so always be alert as to where your hands are, uh, wear uh, insulated gloves if possible, and always wear safety glasses because if you have an explosion or anything, you don't want acid or any kind of you know glass or whatever in your face. Just be extra, extra careful. And if you need any help or if there's something that I didn't mention in the video that you need more information about, I'll be willing to help you. There's uh, tons of information out there about Tesla. You don't have to get super high tech. You can start off small and work your way up. Um, there's a lot of math involved when you come down to talking about getting into residency, uh, making the uh, coils, uh, you know, ring with each other and all that kind of stuff. It's really fascinating stuff, and uh, Nikola Tesla was a genius, and his stuff really works. So um, here's the video I promised you, and I, uh, I hope it's uh, informative enough to help you out. And if you need any more information, I'll be more than happy to help you out any way I can. Uh, Google up Nikola Tesla, look up his biography and all that good stuff. And uh, I hope you enjoyed my video. And if you ain't a subscriber, hope you subscribe and give me the thumbs up, you know. Thanks a lot and peace. Love y'all.